Hey, what's good y'all? Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Bottles. Got out here pitch black, so I didn't really record too much. Uh, just popped a couple holes in the ice. Did a couple over there, found myself in about 23 feet of water. Hoping that some of these fish will be in a little bit shallower feeding first thing in the morning. Dropping down a glow rattle bait. See if I can call some fish in, see if these fish will spot me and give me a, a little luck here. Oh, that is a slow sinker. Oh, he's already on it. That was so fast. This one's small, but man, that was fast. <laughs> How long did that take me? 60 seconds? Yeah, he's small. He wasted no time though. Oh no, hooked in my pants, hooked in my pants. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You hooked in my pants, man. Oh, I just dropped my gloves in the water. First fish, real small laker. And some soaking wet gloves. I might keep some of these smaller fish. I always try and let the bigger ones go, just they're good breeders. But the smaller ones can be pretty tasty sometimes, so I might keep some little ones if we get some more. Like the sun's just starting to come up right now. It's still pretty dark, so got that glow on so they can see me. It is a beautiful morning out here. It's I don't know, probably right around zero. Light snow. I like it. I like it. Can't believe I dumped my gloves in the water like right off the bat. What an idiot. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, come on, dude. You want that? Pardon me one minute. I'm going to get that underwater camera going. There he comes. Feels a bit better than the last one. Still not very big though. Okay. There we go. Still small, but probably an eater size at least. Oh, oh, it's a juicy burbot. That is an eater burbot all day, baby. Juicy burbot. Juicy burbot, baby. I was not expecting a burbot at all. So the plan today was hook into some lake trout and then get some eater burbot tonight. Well, we got some eater burbot this morning. My goodness, look at this sucker. I was not expecting. A burbot on a rattle bait. Whoa, slow down, buddy. <laughs> burbot on the rattle bait. I'm gonna grab pliers because yeah. I don't play with I don't play with treble hooks. If you know me, you know I don't play with treble hooks. He's a dark fish, but what a gorgeous one. That's at least three pounds, three and a half, something like that. It's a real nice burbot. Got some, uh, he's just kind of curled up, but he's got some length to him. Big old belly on him. That is a gorgeous burbot there. Gonna eat that sucker up for sure. Should be real tasty. Weighed this guy at 3.4 pounds. Big old head on this sucker. First thing we're gonna do is cut behind the pectoral fins, just cut around the head. We're not gonna cut the head off. We're just making a small incision into the skin. Just enough so we can get in there. So we can take the pliers 
and rip his skin off. These things are slimy. Gotta make sure we get that last piece of skin there. Okay, we're good. Let's kind of get up under the skin just a hair. There's not a place where we can kind of get it started a little bit. There we go. Take your pliers, I'm using a little needle nose. Grab it, wrap it up a little bit. The skin may rip in some spots, don't sweat it. Just get back in there and get at it. Oh, we're trying not to do that. Where the skin is sticking to the meat, we don't want that. Just make adjustments as necessary. ripping the skin right off I got more meat on the skin than I would have liked but not the end of the world we're all right some guys will take these spines and just you can just straight up pull them out don't really need to do it just because we're going to flesh out around the spine anyway. Just like any other fish, you're going to find that spine and you're just going to work down the sides of it and pull off your fillets. Notice I haven't gutted this fish. It's not really necessary for what we're doing here. Here's the spine. Where the spine is, you can see, just like any other fish, you're going to have those rib bones. Just keep working along those rib bones. We're not cutting through those bones. We're just ticking the top of the knife, ticking them with the knife. It's almost like cutting a back strap off a off a deer or something. It's a little bit awkward for me because I'm trying to do this in a way that keeps the camera in the light, but we'll make this work. So these rib bones kind of stop like right here. So we can come right in and behind these bones. That is one filet. Doesn't that look good? This is one of my favorite types of fish to eat. One filet done and out of the way. You can see this guy's belly. Again, just finding the spine on this side. 
make your way down tick those rib bones just like on the other side this is difficult and awkward for me <laughs> but I'm doing the best I can here Two big old burbot fillets. If you want to get this belly meat off of here, we can do it. I've actually never done this before, but I don't usually eat the bellies. But for those who want, all you got to do is where these rib bones are, just get up under them. We're not going to be pushing right into the guts, but we're just going to separate these rib bones from the meat. So you can feel where they end here. I'm just going to get right up in close and under them. There's the guts for you. Same thing on the other side. Just go to where these rib bones end. Sneak your knife up under there. You can see I missed a bit of meat here. I can clean that up a little bit. We're just going to cut back. Oh, there we go. We're attached here. Gonna chop that right off. And there's the belly meat. That's my first time ever taking the belly meat off. So, if I did it terribly, yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments. This is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, half a tablespoon of chicken powder, this broth mix. Put a half a tablespoon of pepper. pepper. Just gonna mix it up. Yeah. Make sure that everything has pepper, okay? It's gonna be too long. Yeah. Perfect fit. But that's not the end. Putting on just a drizzle of oyster sauce. Gonna brush that in. Don't need a lot. Dabble, do you? Give him a flip and hit the other side there. This will be my first time ever eating the belly meat. Hoping it's good. Oyster sauce on. 
We're using Mama Sita's vegetarian oyster sauce. Vegetarian oyster sauce does not make sense to me. <laughs> Pretend to be healthy. Gonna throw some spinach on here. Spinach is optional. Feel free to leave it out. Then we're gonna hit this with some mozzarella. We are getting crazy. My girl's done this before with the uh, trout and it was super good. Seems like something that would be good with pretty much any kind of seafood. So we are gonna try it with the barbet. Can you do that again one more time? It's not girl, it's white. Nope. Said what I said. It's all over but the crying now. I mean, however much cheese and stuff you want, these are all decisions up to you. You can go as heavy or as little as you like. Gonna cook this for 15 minutes or so at 375. We'll check in on it 15 minutes. If we need to go a little bit longer, we will, but I think that should be just about perfect. Like, Get like a nice in close shot. So we checked it after 15 minutes and put it in for another three. So that's 18 minutes at 375. It looks super cheesy and good. So much cheese, so much spinach. Oh, it just smells so good. That's good. That's real good. Appreciate y'all watching. Mm. I think we gotta say grace twice for this one. Appreciate y'all watching. See you on the next episode.